Hello and welcome to the Daily Roundup. I am Sumedha. Take a look at our top stories of the day. Campaigning in Bengal is ending tonight at 10 p.m. and the opposition is questioning the election commission. In Kashmir, one jawan and three militants were killed in an encounter in the Pulwama region. Sugarcane farmers of Kushinagar have been feeling betrayed by the Prime Minister. Take a look at our ground report. Iran's Foreign Minister Jawad Zarif met Sushma Swaraj in New Delhi. In the Sudan crisis, the military and the opposition are agreeing on a three-year transition. The campaign in West Bengal is ending tonight at 10 p.m. and the opposition parties are questioning the Election Commission. The Election Commission has curtailed the campaign in West Bengal, citing Article 324 of the Constitution, which gives it the powers of superintendence, direction and the control of election. Now the campaigning for the nine seats in Bengal will end on Thursday night, which is tonight, a day early instead of 5 p.m. on Friday. So far, it has been used, this article has been used for the cancellation, postponement and the elec- of the election or penalizing individual candidates. This is perhaps the first time in India's electoral history that such a step has been taken. The Congress, BSP and the CPIM have questioned the timing of the move and also the response of the Election Commission. The Congress has gone on to state that the Election Commission has completely abdicated the constitutional duty under Article 324, which is to ensure the level playing field. Mayawati of the BSP said that the Election Commission is acting under pressure. The CPIM General Secretary Sitaram Yachuri has also raised crucial questions. He said, and I quote, the decision by the Election Commission to stop campaigning a day in advance is not understood. The first thing is being, which is expected by the Election Commission was action against the lumpen elements of the BJP and the TMC for the violence which had taken place and why is there no action being initiated. The move of the Election Commission has yet again put its credibility under the scanner. Now let's move on to Kashmir where violence has hit Pulwama district again where three militants and a soldier were killed on Thursday in a gunfight in Jammu and Kashmir's Pulwama district. Our reporter Kamran was present on the ground and he has sent us a ground report. And again it puts spotlight on Kashmir and Pulwama which has been the centre of conflict. Take a look at his ground report. So in this election season, Pulwama is still remaining very, very sensitive, even as the Prime Minister, the BJP are making a very strong pitch for national security. Now we're showing you a ground report from Kushinagar and in this election season, News Click is attempting to speak to people on the ground to understand their issues and how they have been impacted by the policies of the Modi government. Our report from Kushinagar in Uttar Pradesh points out to how Narendra Modi had assured the sugarcane farmers of the region for improving their lives, but the promises were not fulfilled. The farmers are now crumbling under debt and having to cultivate alternative crops such as the turmeric. We spoke to a few farmers about the ongoing crisis and let's watch what they have to say. लेकिन दिल्ली में बैठी हुई सरकार को और यहां से गए हुए मेहरबान को न इलाके की परवाह है न जनता के भले की परवाह है न विकास कैसे करें इसका कोई दिल दिमाग में सोचना है तो आपका भला कौन करेगा भाई कौन करेगा आपका भला देखिए 2014 के चुनाव में जब नरेंद्र मोदी जी कुशीनगर जनपद में आए थे चुनावी सभा करने के लिए तो मोदी जी के बारे में जैसा हम लोग सुने थे कि किसानों के लिए बहुत कुछ करने वाले ये नेता हैं तो एक उम्मीद जगी थी इस जिले के किसानों को जो गन्ने की खेती हम छोड़ चुके थे हल्दी और केली के खेती पे आ गए थे वो मोदी जी के वादे से हम लोग को लगा कि यहाँ की बंद चीनी मिले चलेंगी 
और किसानों का गन्ना जो जा चुका था वो गन्ने की खेती पुनः हम लोग करने के लायक अपने आप को मानने लगे और गन्ने की खेती हम पुनः करने भी लगे आज स्थिति ये है कि गन्ना खेतों में पड़ा हुआ है चीनी मिले बंद हैं किसानों की चीख सुनने के लिए कोई नहीं है और मोदी जी ने कहा था कि हम मात्र सौ दिनों के अंदर पड़ोना की बंद चीनी मिल चलाएंगे मोदी जी का ये वादा पाँच साल बीत गया और ना ही चीनी मिल चली और ना ही हम लोग के गन्ने के मूल्य का निर्धारण हुआ ना ही गन्ना गिराने की कोई व्यवस्था अब तक हुई इन आर इंटरनेशनल सेक्शन ईरान फॉरेन मिनिस्टर जवाद जरीफ विजिटेड न्यू डेली रिसेंटली एंड मेट विद द इंडियन फॉरेन मिनिस्टर सुषमा स्वराज इन द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ द यू एस सुषमा स्वराज remained non committed to any uh, issue here and she assured that the Iranian counterpart that the new government which will be formed after the election will take a decision on the issue keeping in mind the com commercial considerations energy security and economic interests India which is the third largest buyer of oil has stopped buy buying Iranian oil since the beginning of the month under the US pressure Trump administration had also withdrawn from the joint Com comprehensive plan of action which is signed by Barack Obama with Iran in 2015. Britain, Germany, France, China and Russia are other signatories of the deal. Iran claims that the unilateral American action is illegal and taken under the influence of anti-Iranian forces in the region. Javad Zarif's visit was to seek assurances from India that it will defy the American sanctions and continue the oil trade. Now we're moving on to Sudan where popular demonstrations in the state have been going on for months now and there is a speculation for the announcement of a deal between the Transnational Military Council and the protesters for a while however nothing concrete has come out yet and to discuss more about this we have with us Abdul from our international desk so Abdul the demonstrations have been continuing for a while now so wh what is the preliminary reason as to why the demonstrations are still on uh the basic reason for the demonstration which is going on for almost 6 months now was primarily the umar al bashir's military regime people wanted a democratic regime a civil led uh, regime which was not there uh, and umar al bashir was leading there for almost two, more than two decades one the second reason was immediate reason which was primarily the uh, economic distress which people were facing because of the uh, increasing prices because of the other economic hardships people came on the streets and started demonstrating which is continuing till now okay and the tmc has also gone ahead to halt the negotiations yesterday so why has that happened uh, the negotiations are going on for a month almost a month now primarily after the removal of omar al bashir on on the in the first week of april the new uh, military ruler or you can say the head of the transition uh, transitional military uh, council uh, uh, major general burhan uh, has promised that the uh, the talks will conclude ultimately in bringing the civilian led administration which will be a transition transitional government but which is not happening primarily for two reasons one the 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 negotiators from the protester side the, which is called the freedom and uh, justice alliance has not been able to create a common a consensus among themselves that what would be the nature of the uh, transitory government that there are, there is a primary disagreement on the who will lead the uh, uh, the transi uh, transitional government and on that there was a, you can say there was a um, uh, the, the uh, negotiation could not move forward okay. and that basically also there is another reason which is that there is a violence in last four uh, days against the protesters uh, there are counter claims and claims that it is led by the military which is led by the uh, umar al bashir supported forces we uh, be because of that violence the burhan uh, regime has announced a halt for uh, for all the negotiations uh, for next 3 days and that is the basic reason for it so on the daily round up we'd be following the stories from sudan as well as uh, how the india's stand on uh, the iranian uh, stand off as well and with this uh, it's a wrap on this episode of the daily round up to follow these stories and many more please log on to our website www.newsclick.in subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook and twitter thank you so much for watching